this is one of the most important mods on this car. I can't believe I didn't actually make a video on it. Hey dude, what's going on? Hey, Ethan. Yeah, uh, you just ordered your coolant expansion tank, right? Yeah, the uh, the coolant expansion tank? Yeah, I actually just got that today. I've just been, I'm super busy. I'm like in meetings nonstop back to back, so I haven't had a chance to put it in. Wait, it just came in? Like today? Dude, if you make a video with that thing, I will make a video of your coffee. Yeah, sounds good. I'll put it in for you. Uh, but it'll have to be after this uh, meeting though. It's It's very important. Talk to you later. Hey everyone, welcome to Flywheel Films. Ethan here, and today I decided it's a gorgeous Sunday morning, and I've got about uh, 30, 40 minutes or so before uh, Dungeons and Dragons today because I'm a big nerd. If you ever wanna talk that, let me know in the comments. But uh, I decided I've got a little time to kill, so we're gonna do a mod. We're gonna work on the Miata a bit, and it's an important, uh, it's not really like a mod per se, or not really like the most exciting thing, but it's a very important maintenance item on the NC, and we're gonna replace our coolant expansion tank today. If you know anything about the NCs, the, the coolant expansion tank tends to fail. Um, and so we're going to fix this before that happens. So I got the really sweet one from Dave Fab. They're all great. Um, you can even replace it with the stock one. I just, one, they're ugly. And two, I wanted, yeah, they, you know, I wanted one that's aluminum and not plastic. So the Moroso one is also really great. Um, they're all fantastic, but I went with the Dave Fab one. Uh, this is another super, super easy mod. It's all of like, I think three 10 millimeter bolts. Um, and then I got some coolant. We're gonna replace it with, uh, I was told by many experts, I'm doing air quotes in my mind, that the Xerix Asian vehicle green is really good for the Miatas. So I got that. Um, and then we're also going to replace the clamps. Um, just got some clamps on Amazon. Uh, and we'll show you, or I'll show you when we go in there, the the pinchy clamps we're gonna replace with the screwy clamps. I'm sure they got a better name than that. Uh, this is a, to put this in, it's called a funnel. Um, if you're wondering, this is coffee. Uh, I roast coffee, so if you want some fresh coffee, I guess let me know. It's not technically for sale yet. But anyways, <laughs> let's go out to the car. I'll show you what we're doing. This will take all of like 10 minutes. So here is the coolant tank itself. Uh, again, this is incredibly easy. Here's the new one next to it. So, I mean, it just it just looks better in the engine. Sorry about how dirty it is. My engine bay is not clean. But I mean, you can see how yellowed it is, uh, gross. And this will just look a lot better. Uh, and it's aluminum, like, I don't know, aluminum versus plastic. But yeah, you can see here it is. And it's literally just, uh, I think I said missing a bolt. I think you should have a bolt here. Bolt here, bolt here. And I think that's it, just three, three bolts. I think they're 10 mils. And then these clamps come off. Uh, you just squeeze them. I have some needle mills pliers. You take this kit off. Uh, and then there's one hose underneath. And then, yeah, uh, we're gonna drain the fluids out of this one. Um, and yeah, so we'll drain this into a, a bucket. If you're gonna be reusing your coolant, make sure you put it in a clean container. I'm not, I'm refilling mine with new ones. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty simple. So we're gonna drain this out uh, into a bucket, take off the clamps, undo these, put the new one in. Uh, again, I have, what time is it? Uh, I can't see the time. I got about 30 minutes before people come here for D&D. So we're on a time crunch, but it should be easy. Oh, hey, future Ethan here editing this video, uh, mentioning something I forgot when I filmed this. Don't try and open your coolant tank if you've driven the car. Make sure you do this when it's cold, because if you try and open the cap while it's hot, it's pressurized. So the cap will shoot up into space and it could knock you out and it's bad. So don't uh, do that. Just It's bad for you. So make sure you do this when the car is cool. Uh, this is me time traveling to remind you that. So listen to future Ethan and do this when your car is cold. So I got the cap off and I wanted to make note of this. A super hot tip that a friend told me about is you can use a turkey baster, just like any turkey baster, to suck, suck up all this fluid out of here. Pick one up from Amazon for all of like what? 10, 20 bucks. And then you can use this to pour the old fluid into something, or if you're, yeah, if you're gonna reuse it. Just so make sure you use a clean container. All right, so there we have it, it is empty. Another thing that I wanna point out here, and 
just just because I'm conscientious, that's a word. Uh, it is a word. Uh, this stuff is like very toxic. It's like caustic. There's a word for it, but it's poisonous and bad. You do want to make sure if you're removing your coolant and not reusing it, that you properly dispose of it. Uh, this is bad for the environment. So make sure you uh, just do a Google search of where you can dispose of it. Cause not even like local auto parts sto stores, I think like O'Reilly and all those, they won't take antifreeze or engine coolant specifically. So make sure you do a Google search and dispose of this properly because it's bad for the environment and we want to have a good environment. But yeah, look how yellow and gross it is. But we'll move on. So we use needle nose pliers to remove these clamps. And then these are all just 10 millimeter bolts. Very easy. take these off. So once you get these off, and they're kind of tight, I had to use two hands so I didn't film it. We're just gonna pull this guy out. You can see I took my battery cover off. Ignore how dirty it is because I needed room. And oh, it's gonna be hard to show you, but underneath, let's see if I can show you. There's just this one last hose here that needs to uh, go away. And pull that off. So we got the bottom one off and now coolant tank just comes out. And now you can see all in all its yellow glory. And also important, I guess, don't mix these two up. <laughs> I don't know how you could, but someone pointed it out when I was looking at a video to not mix them up. I'm like, oh, it feels like it'd be hard to do. But yeah, uh, now we just reattach the new one. Pretty easy. I guess real quick, I'm replacing all of these, uh, I call them squeezy boys, with just the uh, screw, screwy boys, um, because these are really annoying and they also wear out over time, especially if you're doing this more than once, I guess. So I'm in here, so I'm just gonna replace them because it's smart. Now also, I got the bottom one attached, and before I put this in, and I want to show you, on the side here is a glass window so you can see your fluid levels. Uh, so you can use that to fill it up, and when it's in here in the car, you can see that and make sure that it's at the proper level. So since it's here, I just wanted to show you that. Let's carry on. All right, now that's in here, and again, if you're replacing these uh, these clampy boys with screwy boys, you don't have to, but I did. Uh, you can get these at like any auto parts store. I just found them at uh, AutoZone, so they're everywhere. So yeah, they're like two dollars or something for a bag of an insane amount. Uh, so now we're just gonna tighten these down, put these bolts on, fill it up, and we're done. It's again, very easy. <laughs> All right, now it's all installed. Put this dirty battery cover back on. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the Dayfab one specifically does retain the factory Mazda uh, cap. So make sure you save that uh, and put it on. And yeah, it's all in. Um, a little longer than I thought, but I was filming, okay? I was filming. But yeah, it took like 30 minutes. Um, and there it is, it's all in there. Easy. So I realized after I had finished installing the coolant tank that I didn't film a proper outro. Uh, I got too excited with Dungeons and Dragons things because I'm a big nerd. So that is what we're doing here. As you can see, the tank is fully installed uh, and it looks fantastic in here. Look at that, so gorgeous. Uh, and I couldn't be happier. It's, it's just like an amazing thing to do if you haven't done one already. Uh, if you haven't put a new coolant expansion tank in your NC, do it. Uh, don't wait like I did. I mean, I didn't wait that long, but do it. Uh, because it is just incredible peace of mind. And I mean, it's a failure part of these cars. So do that. Um, but yeah, that's all I had. Uh, thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know what things I should do to my car next. Um, I've got some, I've got some plans. I can't let Jordan continually one up with his stuff. So I gotta, gotta knock him down a peg or two. Uh, we got some stuff going on, but thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.